Hey guys, so in this video, I'll be going over um, a problem from last week's bi-weekly contest, um, which should have been, let me just check here, uh, bi-weekly contest number 52. And so I'll just, there's four problems, um, and I'll just go over them uh, one by one, but I'll break them into four different videos. So this is the first problem, it's sorting the sequence. And so basically you're given a string that looks like this and each number here represents um, uh, like which location this, this word is, this word should be in the final string. So in this test case, um, this is associated with one. So this is the first word, is is the second word, uh is the third word and sentence is the fourth word. And you're supposed to give the original sentence with all these words put in the right spot. So this is a fairly easy problem if you just um, like know how to take advantage of uh, the pre-built in sorting algorithms um, in Java. So yeah, so uh, there's not really too much of a uh, algorithm to be explained. So I'll just dive directly into how this is implemented. So um, ideally what you can do is you have a class which stores this um, as a text and this as like a priority or like, um, and then you can just sort these, um, this class based on its priority and then just grab the text out of all of them and put them together at the end. So that's what I do here. So um, this class here, um, it just has an, integer which um, represents the index it should go in like one is the first word etc a constructor this is pretty self-explanatory and yeah so this part here essentially parses the string um, by splitting it at its um, spaces because I get the index of the next space um, I actually initially tried using string tokenizer for this but um, I'm not sure, I'm pretty sure my syntax was correct because I've used it quite a lot of times before for um, US Echo, but I don't think leak code supports it because it just um, said like symbol not found and stuff like that. So instead of using a string tokenizer, I just had to um, split the string the manual way <laughs> um, by grabbing the index of its space. And then I just substring it at that space um, the exact technicality of it. Um, I think the code is uh, not too hard to understand if you just go line by line, but that's essentially what this is doing. It's just splitting each string um, into, uh, like it's just splitting this big string by the spaces and grabbing like this one, then this one. Um, and then I have an array of my custom class um, and Afterward, I just sort it, and um, there's a really neat thing. If you have a list and you need to sort it, you can do collection.sort, and the, you pass in the list and a way to compare the elements in the list. And so here um, is a comparator. It just compares this class A, um, and it will just compare these indexes. So this way you can just sort this list of um, like stuff, because uh, this list. And then what you can do is you just go through the list, and get the string from this class here and just append it all into one big string and then which is what you use the string builder for and then just return that so yeah that's um how to do this problem uh yeah if you want like because this this problem i feel like it wasn't as algorithm algorithmic algorithmically based sorry i can't talk um, but more just, do you know how to take advantage of like pre-built in libraries your language has and um, yeah, like how good you are with syntax and stuff like that. So yeah, that's the first problem. I will, I will make more videos covering the next um, three problems. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.